See, this is the main reason why I am not a huge fan of mini twists, even though I think this style is so cute. However, when you're ready to take this style down, you get this matted mess, especially if you're consistently washing your hair in twists. Welcome back to the channel, people. Today, we are talking about mini twist maintenance and how you can keep your hair moisturized when wearing this style. In our Facebook group, I actually did a really detailed video of how to take down mini twists and avoid unnecessary breakage. So I wanna encourage you guys to join us on Facebook at My Natural Hair Life. But let's jump into this video with some of my learned lessons. And the first lesson would be, I did these mini twists too small. I mean, hence the word mini, right? But they were just too, too small for us. As you can see, we are making our twists a little bit bigger. The bigger, the better for us right now don't get me wrong life definitely happened and there were times where i simply washed taylor's hair in twists and i've mentioned this on the channel before but if you are new to this channel hi i want to let you know that i am not a fan of washing natural hair and twists and what i mean is just twist alone right when you don't let out your hair at some time during your wash day dirt you just can't rinse out dirt. Like, that makes sense, right? Okay, moving on. So to handle this matted mess that I created for myself, I am going to start by pre-pooing Taylor's hair with coconut oil and water. Now, I do want to mention that we are using our energy wisely here. What you see on the camera today is our last section. I did the rest of her head over three days. I highly encourage you, if you have a project on your hands like this that is time consuming, plan accordingly. So the purpose of me using coconut oil, for those who do not know, is to just make the detangling process a little bit easier, like when I'm ready to tackle her hair. So I actually put a plastic bag on Taylor's hair, threw her in the tub, and allowed her hair to soak in all that moisture before we start detangling. So after detangling, you already know, it's shampoo time. And that one section that I had, I was able to break up into two large twists. But at this time, I had to wear gloves. Like I normally like to wear gloves anyway, but I had to wear gloves because my hands were just so rough after detangling that I needed those gloves as protection so that I wouldn't cause damaging friction to her strands. Moving right along, as I stated before, I am a fan of shampooing your hair in twists. However, I believe in order to properly clean your hair, you have to rinse your hair loose. Now, this can look like in sections, like it does for us. Um, this can look like in sections for you, or you can let your hair out, you know, all around, but that that just don't work for us that just don't work for us so when i have taylor hair loose that is when i apply her deep conditioner and yes people i do this for every twist twist by twist and yes it's very tedious but it works for us if you're finding that your hair is hard to manage during wash day i encourage you to try this method out no it's not quick and fast but believe me this tedious task is a lifesaver. So I won't bore you guys today. We're going section by section with her hair. However, if you do want to get that detailed video, check in the description box below. So after rinsing out her deep conditioner, it was time to moisturize Taylor's hair. Now again, I have full detailed videos listed below in the description box for you guys. If you're curious how we do our lock method on Taylor's hair, and in those videos, I explain the reason why we do certain things. So I encourage you to go check that out because not only would you get the what, but you will get the why. So let's move on to the very next day. And Taylor is rocking one of our satin bonnets that we now offer on MyNaturalHairLife.com. As you can see, the bonnet is adjustable with a flat fastener. This allows 
comfort during the night so that you won't have like a ball sticking in the back of your neck as you can see you can adjust the band size to fit both children and adults and yes our bonnets are reversible so you can wear it inside out outside in whatever you choose however this is how taylor hair is looking the very next day because of course we were tired now i want to mention that i have an actor child and i kind of gotta protect her hair from herself so although i made the twist a lot bigger <laughs> i tied it up in a simple bantu knot um at the back there my, my version of a bantu hanging knot right and i treated her edges the exact same way that i did in the original video that i will link in the icars above for you guys to protect those fragile strands so if you ask me when it comes to that mini twist in maintenance i don't think you should make a mini i think that you should be more on the medium side because when it comes to that takedown you can actually cause more damage than retain hair if you do it the wrong way so if you need help with that i encourage you join us on facebook at my natural hair life see that full detail video i'll walk you through that and how to properly moisturize your twist i mean you simply put you got to do your wash day over right but i don't believe that you should wash your hair throughout the entire wash day and just twist because there's no way to properly rinse out the dirt from your hair but you all let me know what is your two cents now if you found this video helpful i want to definitely encourage you to check out the other videos on the screen for you and let me know if there's something that you need me to cover in the future i want to thank you guys for watching today and again as you already know your girl got separation anxiety issues do not do not leave me